Hey guys, so beginner mitt work workout. This video is designed for you guys to follow along from start to finish. So we're gonna be doing five different combinations, five different mitt work drills designed with the basics in mind. If you're a beginner or you're new to boxing, this is gonna be great for drilling your fundamentals. If you're a little bit more advanced, great for revisiting those fundamentals as well. So we're gonna work each combination and each drill for one minute. Every time you hear the bell, we're gonna to move to the next combination. The combinations are gonna be up on the screen as well for you to watch along. So you can use this in your shadow boxing, in, on the heavy bike. If you're a coach, you can use this as well. Something designed for you to follow along and drill those fundamentals, little pad work workout. So five minutes in total, five different combinations, one minute on each. Let's get to it. All right, round one, we're focusing on the jab. Jab, good. So moving the feet after every punch. Jab, good. Moving forward. So I'm moving away just to make him move the feet. As soon as I throw the mitt up and I call off for that jab, you guys throw your jab. Jab, good. Jab. Couple of things to think about with this jab is making it nice and long, exhaling, jab, good. Should always be on balance too, so just on the toes, feet shoulder width, no feet coming together, don't get too wide, always in a position to throw your jab, jab, jab. Now what I'm doing there is trying to keep it random so you're always ready, jab, jab, good. Think about keeping the elbow in, turn the wrist over at the end, jab, come forward, moving back, jab. Good. Circling to the, power, to the lead side. Circling to the power side. Jab. Jab. Good. Front foot first forward. Back foot first going back. Jab. Good. All right, so minute two now. We're going to add the cross. Most basic com uh, combination in boxing. We're going to work on that one, two. So as soon as they give you the go, you're going to throw the one, two. Go. Nice. Nice and long, fully extending those shots, turning those hips, exhaling with the punches. One, two. Nice. Moving forward, just keeping those feet moving, keeping everything alive. This is a chance to rest and breathe, but keeping switched on up top. One, two. Good. Keeping the concentration. One, two. One, two. Good. Go. Good. Go. And when I'm catching this one, two, I'm trying to keep that target narrow. I'm not getting too wide so my boxer can fully extend and throw right down that line. Hands up. If you're boxing right now, and you're getting ready to throw that one, two while I'm coaching you through it, make sure you throw it nice and straight. One, two, good. One, two, good. Go, go, good. Keep moving. After every punch and combo, we're moving those feet. All right, we're getting into minute three. There's the bell. Now we're gonna add the lead hook. So a combination's gonna be one, two, hook. Elbow up on that hook, rotate that core across the punch. Nice and long with the one, two. The one, two stays exactly the same. Go, nice, go. Good. Moving forward. Moving away. Circling. Go. Good. Go. Nice. Same when you're catching this one, two in that zone right there. Everything's in the same zone. One, two, hook. Good. One, two, hook. Nice. Moving your feet. Breathing on them toes. Moving forward. While I don't want any punches, I'm keeping the mitts closed off. So I'm not, my boxer knows not to punch. Go. Go. Good. Mixing up that timing so it's unpredictable when I want the boxer to throw. So you guys have got to always be ready on them toes. Go. Nice. On balance. Go. Nice. All right, minute four. We're going to add the cross. So the combination is one, two, hook two. Nice and simple. Turn the hips, fully extend the straight shots, elbow up on the hook. Go. Go. Good. Moving forward. Moving back, keeping range. Just put that jab hand out. Make, think about if you're moving right now, stay about an arm's length away from your bag or your opponent or your coach. Go. That's it. Remember the combo is one, two, hook two. Go. Good. Make sure the jab is solid. The jab sets the tone for the rest of the combination. Go. Good. Go. Nice. Moving your feet, breathing. Go. Good. Go. Nice, moving, moving. All right, I'm gonna make a move your feet a little bit quicker now and put that pressure on. I'm gonna pick up that tempo. So if you're moving your feet around the bag, you're shadow boxing, up the tempo in the feet. Go, forward. All right, minute five. I'm going one, two, one, two. So it's all straight, one, two, one, two. Turning those hips, fully extend those arms. Go, go. Good, so now we're into minute five. Just picking up that intensity a little bit. 
So if you're throwing that one, two, one, two, keep your technique best you can. If you try and put a bit more speed and snap into your punches. Go. Go. Good. Moving forward. Stay close to me. Keep your arms length, but in range to punch. Go. Nice. Moving, moving. Hands up. That's it. Don't let me get close. Go. Nice. Back foot first going back. Forward. Moving. On them toes, guys. Breathing. Go. Nice. Last 15 seconds now. Let's finish strong. Put some snap into those shots. Go. Good. Go. Nice. Last 10. Up that speed and power. Go. Go. Last one. Right before the bell. Go. Time. Great work. Nice. All right, guys. There you have it. So hopefully you got to follow along with that. Five minutes. Just real beginner stuff. Jabs. One twos. One two hook. One two hook two. And then your four straight punches. Hopefully you can replay this back. Hopefully you get, get a good workout out of it. You can use it in your shadow boxing, on the heavy bag. Coaches, feel free to use this in your sessions as well on the pads. All right guys, so there you have it. Just some things you can work on. Remember if you're new to boxing, if you are a beginner, just remember you always want to be in that boxing stance. That's going to allow you to throw those punches. But not only that, this is designed to make you think about your feet. A lot of uh, beginners tend to just think about the punches and, the, and then being slick and moving the head and all that kind of stuff a little bit too early. Remember, the feet is the thing that you need to conquer just as much as the, as the punches, right? Well, this is designed to make you think about moving your feet as soon as you land a punch. So we're throwing real basic shots, the jab, the one-two, but we're always moving those feet, moving around, and just trying to get you comfortable and thinking about where you need to be to land your punches and then what you need to do as soon as you've committed to those attacks. And that's you use the feet and defend, right? Boom, boom, moving around, moving around. Concentrate on, on where you need to be to land those punches, get in position, get your feet under you, and then throw the shots. That way you're always going to be on balance to let those punches go. By being on balance when you throw your punches, that's going to give you confidence to throw your punches. If you start throwing punches when your feet aren't ready to do it, it's going to pull you off balance. So something like this, you can follow along, it's going to help you really think about punch, move the feet. Punch, punch, move the feet. So getting that introduction to the footwork as well. Thanks so much for watching. Any feedback, comments, if you like this workout, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. Then you know the uh, videos are coming out each week. Thanks so much. Love to hear your thoughts on this workout. See you on the next one.